today we're at one of our top secret research facilities out in a small town outside Stockholm, uh, in Rimbo. Uh, and we're going to microwave some different stuff. Uh, and our first item is a light bulb. Broken light bulb. An old CD. Brand is unknown. An egg, fresh from the chicken. A candle. And some firecrackers. And a phone. A fun thing to try is the egg. And as you may know, it consists of a lot of water. And when this water is heated, it evaporates. When you light the candle, the paraffin at the bottom of the string melts and evaporates. The paraffin gas then fuels the flame. When the candle is put into the microwave, the paraffin melts a lot quicker, releasing a lot more paraffin gas. This is then ignited by the flame, creating sudden flares. The firecracker contains black powder that usually ignites in the presence of a spark, you know, when you light the fuse. But actually, it reacts to the added energy coming from the spark. In our case, this required energy comes from the microwave instead. The material in the CD melts because of the increasing heat. You know, shit's on fire, yo! The plastic on Mr. Charles' screen melts because of the heat from the microwaves. You know, that's kind of basic. But the metal in the headphone docks reacts due to the fact that the electric charge in the metal causes dielectric breakdown of the air, increasing its electric conductivity. This causes electrons to move between the metal and the microwave wall, creating the sparks in the docks. The wire in the light bulb is made out of tungsten. Man, I love that word. Tungsten. <laughs> Normally, when you switch on a light bulb, it glows because it gets hot from the friction of the electric current, and the metal emits photons with a specific wavelength. At first, it glows with its normal yellow color. But as the temperature rises, the admitted wavelengths become shorter and the color changes to a bluish kind of color. Well, to summarize, and I don't think this is news exactly, if you put the wrong things in a microwave, bad things will happen. That's our advice. Thank you for watching i for science and we'll see you soon again with a new episode. Promise.